What is up, StarCraft fans? My name is Archaic, and I'm here for StarCast TV to bring you a show match series between Killer in the top right corner and Rush in the bottom right. Now, this is a redo in our first attempt at this. There were all sorts of technical problems, and so we're going to give it another shot, see if we can't do this game, this series, justice for these two incredible players. Now obviously if you've watched this channel at all, you know Rush real well. Super familiar with him, really innovative Terran, um, kind of in contrast to the styles we've seen, um, these macro heavy styles out of players like Flash and Light, but uh, something definitely, uh, as a Terran player, I love to watch Rush play because he does things that I am not comfortable doing. We see him dropping that forward barracks. This is on the map Eddie. And in these positions, we do have that Ling tight wall. So it looks like Rush is gonna go for that. And on the other side, actually Killer dropping an early spawning pool. And this is something real strange, especially on a map that has a Ling tight wall. So this perhaps is created to catch Rush off guard, but I can't imagine it doing any damage at this stage in the game because that Ling tight wall is going to be so effective in stopping any Lings from getting out from those Marines. At this point, Rush dropping his gas, so he is going for a gas expansion. So this kind of signals he will be going for the factory tech and likely going to be producing some amount of Goliaths, um, although he could obviously go all the way up to Starport if that's something he wants to do. Look at that timing of the Overlord popping, three links starting. We see the drone scouting over to the top left, and looks like Rush is actually going for a, a, a cross scout here. And this Overlord is going to get a great shot of this refinery, and that's going to tell him everything he needs to know. He's going to know exactly what's going on in Rush's base. He doesn't quite know about that wall in at the front, which is going to be real awkward as these links pop out, but we're going to have to see how uh, Rush can transition from this play style. Bill is up, the Marine is about finished, and actually Rush hasn't scouted him yet, so these things are going to get all the way across the base before Rush realizes what's going on. Now starting that first factory, but these Zerglings aren't going get to get to this wall so quickly, and the first Marine still isn't out. They're going to start hitting that supply depot, and it's all going to come down to how quickly Rush can get these SUVs over here to start repairing the supply depot. Six links targeting that supply depot so quickly. Half health, it's going to be gone before these SCVs can even get there. Second Marine is still only half done. Now pulling that Marine, great micro from Rush. Gonna protect that Marine from those Lings, but those SCVs actually stepping too far forward. Now the Lings are getting us around, and the first Marine does go down four, three Zerglings, getting it into the main. Gonna continue the harassment against these SCVs. Look at this SCV, oh, look at that. Great movement from Rush, getting that SCV, a little bit of RNG in his favor. And now the Ling's jumping on that Marine. One Ling does go down, three left, but he is gonna get another SCV. So I believe that's three SCVs down already to a build that I thought was just countered by that Ling tight wall. How little do I know? Vulture's now on the way we see. Okay, he just finished up that supply depot at the front, so he did close off his wall. This Marine and a couple SCVs are gonna be able to clean this up, but we already see the hatchery done for Rush. Looking at the drone count, it is only 11 to 16, but that command center has been delayed quite a while, and so at least, um, at least he did a little bit of damage, but I'm not sure if this necessarily favors Rush here. Um, probably right now just producing drones out of these Oh, wow. He dropped a Hydralis Den while all this is going on. So this sunken colony and these couple lanes are going to stop the scout from getting into the main. And Rush is going to be completely in the dark. We see Hydralis speed halfway done. Rush now getting an armory, adding the machine shot. And this is going to be so important for Rush to be able to see some Hydralis. But I just can't imagine him getting lucky and seeing any of these Hydralis unless he catches them right when they pop but that's just really unlikely. So it looks like Rush continuing with the aggression, starting with the nine pool, now transitioning into a two hatchery hydralis play and anticipating that Rush is gonna go for something like a Goliath build. And here we see him waiting for that armory to finish. During this time in my own builds, I love making a second or even sometimes a third vulture. It looks like he's completely content relying on that one vulture at the natural as this command center is about to be finished and continuing scouting with this SCV. So great map presence from Rush. And there's the armory, there's the Goliath, likely to see Goliath range, but oh no, 
Everything has just been scouted from Rush. He's going to need to start a bunker immediately. Probably, yes, canceling the second factory, starting a tank, likely going to start siege mode two. This is going to come down to seconds here. That bunker is on the way, but I don't think Rush is going to have this bunker up in time. These Hydralis are almost here. I'm sure Hydralis speed is finished. Yes, it is. Here come the Hydralis target firing that bunker. Two Marines to defend these six Hydralis getting inside the bunker, but the repair does not go off in time. One of those Marines getting picked off immediately. Now these Hydralis can start target firing the supply depot for the second time. Thank goodness this tank is complete. This range of this tank is going to be so important. Now starting a bunker to try and create a bit of a wall here using those forces great positioning from rush now the scv and drone count is starting to equalize here those hydralis running forward getting on top of the tank getting some shots off can they get the tank they do this is brutal now the scv count is starting to fall so quickly the marine gets picked off before the bunker is finished this is brutal he's gonna have to use scvs in this one tank to push these back but i do believe siege mode is finished a marine in the bunker we can take a breath look at the drone and scv count it has flip-flopped killer has taken the drone lead and this is going to be so brutal for rush killer already teching to lair getting up his spire and going into a third hatchery so he's getting his gas he's getting everything he needs for that three hatchery spire tech and now trying to push this vulture away he's now rush is desperately trying to get up some anti-air he doesn't have an academy he doesn't have comsat so he's really relying on his game sense here to get up um, enough goliaths engineering bay turrets in time for what could be spire and it looks like this scout is going to be so important from rush just trying to see what is killer doing right now with his larva we see him banking all of his larva getting ready for that spire but that's something rush does not know and he is building these goliaths blindly getting goliath range still no engineering bay in sight and these mutilus are going to be started right now look at this timing from killer this is out of control after that aggression nine pool he knows his timing so well to have exactly enough gas for nine mutilus and here we see him adding that engineering bay adding the second factory so gonna persist in this goliath strategy moving that tank to be in a safer position from mutilus harass and now closing up that wall for the third time <laughs> and look at this double expansion out of killer going for another natural which makes a lot of sense it has obviously gases at both this was maybe the other potential but expanding towards the terran is kind of a scary thing to be doing um although because of all this aggression it does look good mutilists are out we see those turrets madly getting built right now only one at the natural currently and another one by the production this turret is not quite done yet so killer can actually jump on this turret and looks like he's going to getting an scv he's not even bothering with the turret just going for the scvs gets the scv targeting the building the turret and now actually quite a few goliaths out already four goliaths range is going to finish any second now he does have one turret up at the main but these mutilists are just diving scvs look at the count now 32 drones to 25 scvs but a lot of goliaths are out this is definitely a reason to have two factories you can really get out a large number of goliaths and with range now and a couple turrets he's going to feel totally safe but again just look at the drone count it's staying ahead of the scv count and now the third and fourth hatchery are finished how does killer want to take this into late game he is getting a queen's nest looks like he wants to go ahead and go up to hive tech um and look at these and rush is going to feel totally safe but plus one weapons is finishing likely going to be starting plus one armor because he doesn't have that science facility and no starport even to get that thing on the way but continuing to add turrets continuing to add goliaths and he's going to feel safe but what is he going to do as we get into this mid game push out of the terran player he's just going to have to rely on amassing a ton of units and try to get some timing going on only six mutilus actually made during all this time so really not committing too much just rapidly getting those mutilus out and trying to get a little bit of damage before the goliaths get into the numbers that they're at now rush 
Now starting up that starport tech, gonna be teching up to get his plus two weapons and all of those wonderful things. While this is going on, we see him actually starting to add vultures and starting to get those vulture upgrades, which makes a lot of sense. It's quite gas intensive with only two gases on the Goliath build. So while we tech up, while we get those armories, while we get those upgrades, you need to think about how can I save gas and going for a vulture harass is actually one of the ways you can do it. Look at this. I am wrong. Not going up to the hive, actually. Using queens, going for broodlings. <laughs> do you see this? This is seven queens. This is insanity. This is going to be awesome. And Rush, not having a high tank count, the queens are going to completely eliminate any tanks he does have which means his hydralisk his lair tech army is going to be so effective in dealing with these this mecking player but actually these vultures running in with speed getting a few drone kills and this is always good starting to put some pressure on those larvae to either make drones or units and it looks like he's going to persist with this just rallying some vultures continuing getting that second armor getting the science facility so it looks like he wants to start plus two, plus two once those finish. And he's going to try and do some 2-2 two, two timing. I don't see a command center starting. And it looks like he's just going to try and get something going in the late game. Going to try and skip the early game, the mid game, and go straight for that late game tech of those incredible upgrades. But while this is going on, double Evo Chamber, starting ranged weapons and Caribus. These vultures running around. But this is what's so great about taking another natural. You can wall in or at least tighten the choke, leave some units there, and you're completely safe against vultures until something like a dropship comes out. But look at how active Rush is being with these, starting to drop mines now, so this is going to be really annoying. And it looks like he actually found an opening here, going into the natural. Uh, it does get a couple shots off. One drone does go down, and that's it. So not, not the greatest trade here, but at the same time, trying to find an opening over here at the third, but that's not completely thwarted here we go we see the dropship out now so this is textbook rush play going ahead and trying to be aggressive with a dropship the problem that i'm starting to foresee is look at the supply the supply for the zerg player is just skyrocketing now 115 to 90 three factories are up adding the fourth factory does have his 2-2 on the way so that's going to be a, a real strong push if he can if he can amass some kind of army here and here comes the dropship landing in the main but the mutilists are actually in position going to target fire the dropship and actually main arting those drones out of there as fast as he can does get a couple drones on the extractor and actually not paying attention these vultures actually get into the natural get another kill the sunken colony cleans up one and two vultures at the same time dropping some more so rush trying to get something going with the rest he did lose that dropship, which is really going to hurt. But now there's no hydralisks over at the third, and these vultures are going to start killing a lot of drones, completely uncontested. But are you kidding me? Look at this army from Rush. I mean, it's only a 20 supply difference, but a 20 supply favor for the Zerg player with all of these queens is insanity. Now, it looks like he wants to go for a bust. These mutilists are going to dive on top of these tanks. I imagine the queens are going to be follow suit in no time, dropping those broodlings. There goes all the tanks. <laughs> There's nothing. There's nothing here from Rush. This is brutal. Now, all of the hydras coming in going to clean up those supply depots. Yes, you can have 20 SCVs surrounding that bunker, but it doesn't matter. Now sieging up some tanks in the bank. These tanks do matter if you can keep that bunker alive, but no, he does not. Now the Hydralists are going to eliminate all of these SCVs. Look at the supply count, 59 to 97. This is bonkers. All of the SCVs are erased, and that's GG. Killer crushing through game one. Taking Rush to town with that nine pool into Hydralisk, into Mutalisk, into Queens? Are you kidding? This is bonkers. Let's get over to game two. In the bottom left, we have Rush, our white ivory, whatever color you want to call this, off pink. In the bottom left, we have Rush, and in the top left, we have our yellow Zerg killer. That game was kind of a fist fight where one person had brass knuckles and the other person didn't rush got absolutely bludgeoned in game one on eddie this is circuit breakers quite a bit of a different map 
very much more standard than I would think you would consider Eddie, but Eddie is also quite standard, just with that uh, low ground main being a defining feature. But these naturals are a bit more difficult to wall in, but it's something you can choose to do as a Terran player if you want. Um, certainly uh, using that command center as a bit of a wall or, or doing something like just a one rax expand without gas. Now, I haven't really talked about Killer yet. Killer is a player, an old school player, Hwasang Oz, um, kind of kind of a, in the line of Jadong, a really aggressive player. He did top eight uh, an OSL in 2011, so really strong player. Um, but really didn't come to his uh, into his own until after the Kespa era. He did, uh, I believe it's a Sonic tournament. I'm, I'm not familiar with the tournament. I wasn't watching back then, but he seemed to have won some tournaments during that time. Um, um, so really strong player, really strong uh, uh, and aggressive, which is insane. Rush really just getting crunched. Crunch wrap supremed in that first game. So this looks a lot more uh, straightforward play out of Rush, uh, at least nowadays. Dropping that supply table, dropping the barracks. No gas in sight yet. And for Killer, going for that 12 hatch. Nothing uh, aggressive yet. And I do say yet with some passion. We see that drone going up to the top right, that overlord going to the bottom left. And again, Rush getting really unlucky with his scouts. You noticed in that first game, he crossed spawn scout missed the zerglings saw the drone i believe but still completely missed the zerglings the zerglings getting to his base and just not responding not having the the enough time to get those scvs to his wall because i believe if he was able to see those zerglings he would have been totally fine and it looks like he's going for the close spawn and then checking the other close spawn not bothering with the cross spawn so something to do with his build is going to indicate what he wants to do if he's cross spawn He's going to see this hatchery in no time though. Spawning pool up, gas up. We're going to have to see what Killer wants to do with his first 100 gas. And the SCV is positioned. Yes, there it goes, dropping the command center. So one, Rax expand out of rush. Uh, now Killer has finally seen that command center. So he's going to know because of the timing of that command center, what build Rush is going for. He can't get that command center that early without getting that barracks and obviously no gas yet. First 100 gas goes to Lair, continuing to gas mine here. And now we're going to see what is he producing out of these larvae. Looks like four lings on the way. And at the same time, Rush getting a two barracks. Uh, two barracks. So looking like this is something that Artosis is, just does. <laughs> when he was talking about a tournament report, he's like, in Terran Berserk, all I want to do was just two racks. <laughs> and so this is something you can do as a Terran player. This is something that someone like Light does basically every game. You can watch, become super familiar with this play style and see the sort of slight adjustments or tweaks that light does to his builds to really optimize it against different openings does drop the academy first so not going for anything like an engineering bay with quick weapons yet so this is this is kind of uh he wants to get a little bit aggressive with his medic marine and perhaps a fire bat or two in there does kill the scv which is actually pretty important speed's not even done yet so uh getting a little lucky or maybe a little lack of control from rush uh and what what is going on killer you monster so while this is going on he actually killed that scv just in time and now a huge flood of lings is coming down it looks like a good dozen or so this bunker is about to finish and if this bunker finishes it's going to be so good for rush actually getting a little bit out of position now this is so dangerous as a terran player having to deal with a little bit of harassment and now the lings are coming and getting a full surround actually the scv pull is pretty good but this bunker is going to go down so quickly can he keep his actually this is wow rush are you kidding me look at the positioning of those uh scvs completely denying the ramp so even though he lost that bunker he's still totally fine look at the drone count he's got a good nine uh scvs to killer's drones and killer really doesn't have an opening here he's gonna sure uh, pick away at that uh, command center but He's making even more, and this this position is just so strong from Rush. Are you kidding me? He's gonna try. He does get a couple SCV kills, but is he is he doing anything other than making links here? It looks it looks like no, getting some overlords. It looks like he was supply capped, but the bunker's up again, and so Rush is gonna feel real safe. Although he doesn't have an SCV out on the map, so he's not particularly sure how many SCV or how many Zerlings are being produced, but. 
Yeah, this this is rough. So again, the opening looking to really favor Rush, and it looks like uh, his medics are already done. He can make some fire bats if that's something he thinks he needs, but I don't even think he needs that really. And now, yeah, just poking forward, getting another Zergling kill. And so this is a two hatch play. The Mutalists are already done. That's something I should have mentioned, but only four drones to support, or 14 drones to support this. So a turret's actually getting up perfect time and look at the six minute mark is where you want to be they're about a few seconds late but this is going to be totally fine because there's not actually enough mutilus here to kill the scvs the turrets are up now now it just comes down to micro here can killer with only five uh, mutilus get a lot done here okay another scv goes down picks off a lone uh marine but there's actually a reasonable amount of marines and medics here and now the mutilus annoyingly in the bottom gonna just run out of there and he does lose a two mutilus oh no that is bad news here for killer does not have a healthy ball of mutilisks yet back up to five but he could have been at seven if he hadn't lost those two and now rush yeah being super safe against a two hatching player you want to just keep making turrets he's almost up to three at the natural he's getting up to two over here at the main adding two over by this uh the production facilities all right quite a few six mutilists up now but two turrets yeah he's going to be totally fine those marines are in great perdition uh position no drones being okay he is starting to add drones so it looks like he does want to do something other uh, transition out of this but this just looks incredible from rush he must feel so safe i love this line of turrets as a zerg you really need to attack the 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 ends of the lines but it's just really hard to do because of that bunker and marines can obviously swing up to this top and hit it so those turrets are in a great line and again look at these lines from rush this is something you can really learn as a terran player how do i build my turret lines look at rush's play you create these beautiful lines and then these open spaces that the marines can run in it looks like rush wants to get aggressive he's posturing his marines out by the natural here and oh get some mutilisk actually basically for free these mutilisk in terrible positioning eating so many missile shots and he loses a mutilus now down to six mutilus rush scans the natural there's no creep colonies there at all looks like a drone is going out to make his third but i feel like rush is in an incredible position here up eight scvs has starting his tech up to factory um getting his plus one weapons as well i'm sure range is finished by this time he can just walk across the maps and force so many sunkens. Does he have a hydralisk den yet? There's no hydralisks. No hydralisks at all. So what is what is Killer's plan here? Because this bio ball is just going to get bigger and bigger and bigger. It looks like he wants to add the third, third and the fourth barracks to this. And he's going to have a sick, strong timing whenever he wants to. I mean, unless Killer has hidden a hatchery, which is something probably he couldn't afford to do at this point we don't even see his third hatchery up yet um rush knows exactly what tech killer has because of those comsats so fortunate for rush and killer is just looking like in a lot of trouble here so again three turrets over here completely denying trying to abuse this position but those turrets are just in great shape and the marines actually in great shape as well how many mutilists are we at? We do have 11 mutilists. So while this, he has successfully massed up to that incredibly strong muta flock. All right, a flock of mutas? Sure, let's call it a flock. And actually even more mutilists. So he has a ton of mutilists. That's all he's been doing. He hasn't, and dropping the queen's nest and going up to hive. So it looks like he wants to um, go straight up to greater spire perhaps this is kind of what i would imagine i mean the big space above the naturals are real annoying place to get uh guardians and start attacking the natural but rush look at this army it looks like he's totally fine starting a second starport uh he must be starting a science facility somewhere here uh although i don't see it interesting interesting so maybe could this be something like Valkyries? He did get an armory here. Okay, he is. He's actually, so because of those scans, I think this is the way he's going. Not even bothering with the science facility yet. Instead, going up to Valkyries, and he's gonna do some crazy strong push with this huge bio ball. And maybe the first couple of Valkyries, I mean, this is real late Valkyries, but, because killer has not transitioned out of 
Okay, he is getting Defilers now. He does have Hydralis. He's trying to get Lurkers now. So he's trying to not go for the Greatest Fire, but instead trying to transition into a regular late game, just skipping that mid game of Lurkers. And now, with that first Valkyrie being out, he is going to start moving out. Uh, Rush, yeah. Completely zoning out those Mutalists. And now this army is going to be moving across the map, heading up north. More reinforcements coming to join here. And now he has two starports making Valkyries. So I think, I mean, this is a little bit, uh, a little bit uh, precarious, I think, for Rush. He really needs to do some damage because these Valkyries do not become that valuable if the game gets into that hive tech, if he gets Lurkers and Defilers. But I don't think cons Consume has been started yet. Now, a couple Spire... Uh, Scourge looking for that Valkyrie. Look at how far back these Valkyries are actually positioned. So far away from their Marines, really protecting them from something like a Scourge dive. And this is three Valkyries. This is insanity. If this army gets a fight with these Mutalists, these Mutalists are going to evaporate. There will be nothing left. It will be monstrous. It'll be carnage. And I think he's gonna get a fight here. Those, look at those shots. So much damage. I mean, just one volley, and now the Valkyries are hunting. Look at that patrol micro, actually, from the Valkyries. They're hunting those, and the Marines, the medics, they just bust the colonies, and there's nothing. The Lurkers on the way to be morphed, but they are too late. Skipping that Lurker was his death. I mean, that early Ling bust failing really didn't put him in a great shape for that Mutalist Karask and his economy was just bare bones. So that game two goes to Rush, just a brilliant defensive play, and actually going straight into Valkyries, realizing Killer is committing to those Mutalists. It's time for game three. At the top we have Killer, our strangely colored Zerg player. I don't know how to qualify that color. And in the bottom left we have Rush, our, our teal, Terran player. This is on the map Neo Sylphid, which is fantastic. I mean, getting to see these players on Circuit Breaker on Eddie has been a real treat. Killer going for that incredibly aggressive style, working out for him in game one, not working out so hot in game two. And that's really been the story of this this series so far, the non-stop aggression. And what is going on here? Rush. Excuse me, Rush. Rush is looking to turn the tables. I don't know if this is going to work though, right? Because can you be aggressive against aggressive player? You're, you're kind of playing their game. Seems like a dangerous place to be. He's going ahead, dropping that eight racks in the center. He's not sending out another S, uh, SCV. So this isn't necessarily all in. I mean, you can always float that barracks back. You're just looking to be aggressive. And we're going to see what opening killer chooses we saw in the last game he went for that 12 hatch and that's kind of what you want to see as a terran player something like a nine pool um you don't really see over pools or anything like that but um that's not what you want to see i mean he is getting the overlord so it looks like he's just going for a 12 hatch it's totally standard out of killer here so that's i i think that's where you want to be as is the eight raxing player i mean you're, you're really just looking to kill some drones maybe in a previous era you were looking to win actually what is this build this is a 12 spawning pool, 11 gas without the hatchery, what? So I mean, this is, this is bad news. This is like an economic speed lane build. And so he's gonna have lanes up. I mean, he's not gonna have to pull drones to defend this. I mean, if he tries to start building a bunker, you might wanna get, get, uh, get some drones there to stop, to kill the SCV, but seeing that there's no hatchery here i mean yeah now starting to pull some drones so he knows i think he knows what's going on here not seeing anything in the natural or is he just pulling some to defend okay he does drop the hatchery here and it looks like yeah first marines out second marines already done he's making four zerglings but yeah look at this rush realizing what's going on he's just going home uh, he he's out of there no way this is this is awkward and i think i think this build is a bit brilliant out of killer i mean what what was that i i don't know <laughs> but it's gonna work out here i mean rush wanted to get aggressive and maybe this is something he he 
uh, prefers to do on this map. Maybe maybe Killer has done some foresight, some scouting, and realized what's going on. And now Rush getting that gas, he's getting a factory. So he is going to go for, uh, well, I would anticipate a vulture, vulture expand because there's only one guy in gas. And now scouting those four lanes of this hatchery. Yeah, about three quarters done. Now getting... <laughs> <laughs> getting the hydralist in so was this the plan all along or was this a response i have no idea but going ahead getting hydralist speed and this is gonna be utterly brutal i mean yeah look at this lane positioning completely denying the scout gonna get the scv he can't rush can't make marines i mean he doesn't really want to be making marines right now he really wants just a vulture or two what going up to starport okay we're seeing some classic classic uh, rush here going for starport on one base this is yeah perhaps a vulture drop or something of the likes but but killer i think he just wants to bust and i mean what's rush gonna have for units he's making vultures he can't make marines right now although like i mentioned he probably doesn't want to be making that many marines oh no these marines out of position and this is just this is a little sad two marines for Okay, the Vulture's going to clean up the Zerglings, but, I mean, when you're going for a kind of bus strategy, if you can trade units, you're going to be, uh, you're going to be okay, right? You're reducing the amount of units, the defending units, and right now you're just flooding Hydralisks. I mean, he's, look at this. He's running them straight south to try and avoid this Vulture. Two Vultures out, now starting that machine shop. I mean, Vultures do not fight Hydralisks. Um, leaving a couple Hydralisks actually... At the natural, no drones there yet. I mean, there's 11 drones right now for Killer, so he needs, he needs this to do something. But, but he's making a wraith. He doesn't even have a tank on the way, and these hydras are going to be there. There's no bunker. Now Rush sees it, now trying to run. I mean, what units do you have? He's going to pull those vultures. He's going to need to do something with these vultures, and he's going to need to pull SCVs. Here they come, stacking up, going to try and get through the vultures now on top, but actually pulling back out of the drill from those SCVs now, so trying to get a surround on these hydralists, but now the wraith comes out. I mean, the wraith's going to need to micro for days. Can you micro one wraith against seven hydralists? I, I, don't, I don't think so. And now, now the tank started. Now Mines is trying to get it done here. But the first tank's going to pop out, and this is going to be so important. Can he do something magical with this tank? I mean, he still has more SCVs than drones currently, but they are starting to have 10 SCVs, 9 SCVs. All the SCVs are gone. Now the tank's going to get surrounded, and look at this. The supply depot blocking the path of the tank, and the tank goes down. That's... <laughs> oh, oh, are you kidding me? So Rush getting caught with his pants down, going for that eight racks, and we saw just the strangest build out of Killer. Just, oh man. That's it. That's our series. Killer takes it down. 2-1. Just, just crazy Hydra busts. I mean, this is something you gotta, you gotta be comfortable against as a Terran player. I mean, Hydralis can just show up and end your day miserably. Well, that's it for me. My name's Archaic for StarCast TV. I hope you enjoyed these games today. I'll see you for our next series.